the game over Oh my god, that was sick! What's going on you beautiful winners? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. Listen. Oh hey Tiger. What's up little bud? Oh you little good boys. Alright well. I guess Tiger's going to interrupt this. But he'll be in the side of me like a little parrot. Anyways. Today on this episode guys. We're going to be talking top three musky baits on Lake St. Clair. So listen, Lake St. Clair is one of the best musky fisheries in the world, hands down. So today we're going to be going over what baits to throw out there. These are just my three favorite baits. There's obviously many more very great baits, but in my opinion, these are the three best. So let's get right to it. Number one, we're going to start with... Stabiles. The Magic Swimmer by Stabile, I'm telling you guys right now, you can just see how many teeth marks are on these baits. I mean, they're just, they're just shredded. Now these baits have caught me easily over 30 fish last year. I'm telling you guys, these baits are insane. But I mainly only throw these when I'm fishing shallow waters. So if you're fishing shallow waters, I'm talking maybe 10 feet, 15 feet. That's where these baits shine because they don't run very deep. They run very high in the water column. So anywhere you know that muskies feed high in the water, these baits are going to be key. All right guys, so when you're throwing a Sabil, I recommend using a medium heavy rod. Medium heavy, why? Because it adds a little bit more give to the tip. These are a lot lighter lures. So you're gonna want a little more give in the tip to really send that bait out there. So, when you cast that bait out, all you wanna do is a simple straight retrieve. Nothing too special to it, no tricks, no secrets, just a, just a steady retrieve, go really nice and slow, Especially when the water is really cold, you really want to just dead walk that bait. Just really ever so slowly. And eventually, you're just going to feel either one of two things. That bait's going to go slack. You're going to feel slack in the line. Set that hook. It's going to be a fish. They hit it from the back coming towards you. So that's going to put a big slack in your line. Set that hook. In another way, of course, they just absolutely kill it. They just smash it. Nothing better than when you're just slowly retrieving that bait and you just feel that, that explosion on the end of the line. Number two on the list is Bondi Bait Royal Orbas. Now guys, I don't know if you can see that, but I think that speaks for itself. This bait's just shredded. So these are both Royal Orbas by Bondi and honestly when fish hit these baits it's like they're pissed at them. It's like these baits owe them money. They absolutely clobber them. They just smash them. Very very productive bait out on Lake St. Clair. Not on many waters. These baits I know I hear some people catch lake trout on them even. Just a beautiful bait. These two blades cause a lot of vibration and you still got this big old tail right here, which is just added attraction. Lots of action in the water, a beautiful, beautiful bait. So when you're using the Royal Orba by Bondi Bait, what you wanna do is, these baits are a little more heavy. You may wanna switch to a heavy rod, uh, maybe even a extra heavy. Depending on the size of the Royal Orba, he makes some nice big, big, big baits, so. You really want a little more extra backbone to your rod. And when you're throwing these baits out, what you want to do is, like the Sabil, you can steady retrieve it. 
give it, as soon as you cast it out, give it a quick jerk, get those blades running, and then just steady retrieve it. These baits are pretty much versatile. You can use them for anywhere. Because it's a big rubber bait, you could use it for shallow water, you can work it quick. Or if you're fishing deeper water, you can cast it out there and let it sink. Give it 10, 20, 30 seconds, whatever you need to do, and let that bait sink, give it a jerk, steady retrieve, steady retrieve. Make sure you're feeling the vibration of those blades. And also, what you can also do is you can give it a jig. Reel it in, give it a jig. And what that'll do is, that'll make that bait come up, it'll spin those blades and then die. As it's dying down, these blades are still going to be going. They're still gonna be turning. So a lot of times strikes come on that fall, on that die, when that bait is falling. Last but not least, of course, we have to mention the Bulldogs. Muskie Innovations Bulldog. Check them out, check them out. Now these baits come in three sizes. They come in regular, Magnum, and Pounder. Usually, in the beginning of the season, I like to start off with the regular, maybe midway throughout the season, like uh, September, October, I like to throw the, the Magnum. And then later in the year, when the 4-H seems to be a lot bigger in size, I'll throw those big pounders. So, like I said, very, very amazing bait. One of the pioneers of the musky fishing world. I'm sure you guys have heard of these. And also, these baits catch many, many, many muskies. It's just pretty much like a oversized grub. It's got this beautiful tail here that just twirls in the water. And it's got like this beautiful big body right here. Awesome bait. Okay guys, so you decide to throw a bulldog. On these baits, all right, first of all, if you're using the pounder, you're gonna want a heavy action rod, extra heavy. Those big rubber baits are going to need backbone. If you're throwing the regular or the magnum, you can simply use a heavy rod, maybe even a medium heavy if you choose so. Also, I do suggest you use nine foot and up because like I said, these baits are very heavy. The nine footer, the longer rods, help you really get those baits out there. It'll really send it out. And also, when you're throwing that bait out there, you can let it sink just like the Royal Orba if you're fishing deep waters, or you can work it in shallow waters by burning it as soon as it hits the water. So, there's a lot of different uh, techniques to retrieving this bait. These, bait are, these baits are like a rubber jerk bait pretty much. So you can give it a, a nice pump, pause, pump, pause, and that'll give it a beautiful action. And that'll give it a beautiful action. Your bait will be coming up and then dying down. Coming up, dying down. A lot of times I get my hit on that die down. You'll feel just nothing but pressure. Set that hook. Also, you can burn these baits. I've caught a lot of muskies burning the bulldog. You're not gonna retrieve a bait faster than a muskie. Trust me, these fish are like barracudas. They're freaking fast. They're going to catch up to that bait, and some days they want a little more faster retrieve. So, you can do the steady retrieve. You can do the pump, pause, pump, pause. I do this when the water's a lot colder and these fish are more lethargic, or when they're a little more active and they want to chase something, you can retrieve it in a fast retrieving manner. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. I wanna thank you guys for watching and thank you for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Hope you guys got some good informative knowledge and also don't think that just because I said those three baits, that's the only baits that are gonna catch fish out there. A lot of other honorable mentions like the Shadzillas, the Rover Baits, Bucktails, Medusas, Restless Riders. All those baits will also catch you lots of nice fish. Guys, if you'd like to see more informative videos like this one, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment. It'll be good for the algorithm. Help me get more views and get my videos out there, which will motivate me to keep making content. 
enough blabbering guys have a beautiful day and even better night peace